feel like when I have it up like this, it looks like I have no neck. Tell me in the comments if y'all like it when I fold it down or when it's all the way up. Y'all, this lighting really... What is up, everybody? It's your girl, Jada, and I'm here with another video. I told myself I would be more consistent on YouTube starting 2021. And I was like, you know what? The end of 2020, let me end the year off right. They gave me a great three-day trip. I will post it somewhere right here. And if you see, the first leg of my trip is a deadhead to LA. So from Denver to LA. What you do, if you don't know, a deadhead is basically me being a paid passenger. I get paid to be on the flight as if I'm working the flight. So the flight's about two hours, something like that. So I'm getting paid to just sit there and chill. And then I have to work a flight after that from LA to um, Vegas. So that'd be a good little, little something, something. But I'm going to take you along with me on this journey. I'm Y'all, I'm in LA, LAX. Guess who I bump into? Shalene from training. Hey. What's good? Whoever's watching this in my training class, you gonna know what's up. What is up, y'all? I'm on the plane, about to head to Vegas. Um, we did get a switch in flight attendants. So I will end up with two new flight attendants, so that's, you know, it happens. It is what it is. But this is a quick flight, only 41 minutes. Um, then we have a two hour sit in Vegas and we come back and then I end up in Eugene, Oregon. Um, so this day actually ends up being pretty long just cause the deadhead. First flight is done and of course something happens, but we're in Vegas, baby. I'll show y'all a little clip of, of course, the little slot machines in the airport, which is just so crazy. You know you in Vegas when you see that. So we had a little boarding delay, a little passenger count delay, but we here we made it around on time, so no biggie. And of course we have a two hour sit here, so it really doesn't mean anything to us, to the crew. But I'm gonna sit here, probably call my mom, see my AirPod in. Um, I might try to edit this video out a little bit. And yeah, I'll see y'all. Good evening everyone and welcome to United Express Flight 4692 with service to Los Angeles. Day one is done. I'm in Eugene, Oregon. Um, literally one of my favorite overnights. I wish, I wish I could show y'all the river walk that's like right in the back of the hotel. Super beautiful, pretty like as can be. Um, it's just super dark outside right now and we leave early in the morning so i won't be able to show it to you but if you want to look it up look it up riverwalk eugene oregon and you'll love it but i'm gonna call it a wrap what's up y'all it's day two it is about eight o'clock i'm about to meet my crew downstairs and one thing I really like about this hotel in Eugene is they give us free breakfast, super good breakfast. So I got the breakfast burrito. If anyone knows me, they love or they know that I love a good breakfast burrito. So I'm super excited about that because I'm really hungry. So yeah, it's a great day. Great day for three legs today and then a good little stay in LA tonight. I want to show y'all this delicious burrito. Oy. I'm telling you, crews love a great breakfast at the hotel. We literally live for that. All right, y'all, I'm finally in LA. Got a little room tour. I've been chilling for a little bit. Almost forgot to vlog, but I'm here. Um, 
I have a lot of time here actually and like I said I only have one flight tomorrow which is the deadhead not even working it so in the morning I'll probably try to walk around a little bit and I'm in the a loft which is a super nice hotel love this hotel so yeah today was a good day no nothing bad today really smooth honestly all right y'all i'm looking super busted but right when i thought I was, all i was gonna have today was deadhead they literally just called me 7 20 for a 9 20 show so if you see the rsv i post my schedule again rsv means i'm still in reserve and during these times la needs a lot of people on reserve a lot of people who are gonna get called out so like I said, they just called me 7:20 for a 9:20 show. I have another Austin turn and back, and then they'll deadhead me to Denver. So I literally don't get into Denver now until I think like 10 or 11, something like that. So again, this is the life of a flight attendant, and you see all my junk in the back, and I need to hurry up and get ready. I feel like when I have it up like this, it looks like I have no neck. Tell me in the comments if y'all like it when I fold it down or when it's all the way up. Anywho, y'all, I feel like I did not explain the whole reserve thing. So right now, you either, actually in the whole aviation industry, either you're on reserve, basically you're getting called, or you have a line, which you already know your schedule. So right now, I'm still only a year and a half in, and due to you know COVID, all that kind of stopped the whole process of people getting employed and getting hired and all that so i'm on reserve which means i'm on call so every day that you're on reserve and they don't already give you a trip or a schedule beforehand and they call you you always your minimum is always a two hour call out so like i just said they call me at 7 20 and i have a 9 20 show i actually got ready super early another thing i'm so grateful for the flight attendant i worked with last night she had ordered like too much food and she gave me some and like it actually worked out really perfectly because they called me out and i literally had no i didn't have any more food so literally she gave me like pasta and chips and guac so that's gonna hold me over because i have two long flights going from la to austin and austin back and then my dead heads Back on the plane, my crew is super cool. We're already talking about getting some barbecue in Austin. We actually have a lot more time than I thought we did in Austin. We're probably gonna have over an hour there. So we already talked about getting some food. If you know me, I love to eat, love some food. So when he said barbecue, I was already with it. Anyways, this flight is about two and a half hours to Austin, so LA to Austin. to Austin makes my hair a little bit made it to Austin um, not as much time as we thought we were gonna have but still had enough time to walk over to the barbecue place walked over there with my captain I looked at the, the prices of the brisket and all that it was like $20 like literally that was the average of everything was $20 for like a meal and I was like you know what I'm not about to spend $20 for a barbecue at the airport I have some food in my bag. I, I will eat. <laughs> I'm like, mm. I told my captain, I was like, oh yeah, it is the airport. He's like, I promise you it's good. And I was like, maybe next time. I'm Your girl is finally home. It's about 10.30. It was super cold outside. I think it was like 16, 17 degrees outside. I had a glove up. Anywho, super long day. I'm super tired. As you can tell, I'm in our bathroom. I'm about to shower up and KO. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. And just let me know what other videos you guys want. And if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Love y'all so much. Catch y'all in the next vlog.